Amber and Earl. Yep. Here we are in Denver. Mm -hmm. And um, you guys are out here homeless. Yep. And just got some fresh socks. Mm -hmm. And what'd you say fresh socks were like? Fresh socks are just like, they're gold. Like, they're the best feeling in the world to just have fresh, clean socks on your feet. Especially after like walking around for miles a day and things Especially like that. Especially all this heat when your feet mm -hmm. sweat a lot. Yeah. They just get moist and your feet just get eaten up they by feel bacteria. feel slimy. Yeah. It's a... Uh, Mm -hmm. Nothing like fresh socks. No. How long have you guys been doing this? Um, I've been traveling for about four years. You, you, gosh, how old are you? I'm 21. You're 21, so you've mm -hmm. been traveling since? Basically since the day I turned 18. I, I was homeless a little before that because my mom was very abusive, so I, I kind of, you know, stayed away from home as much as I could. And you? Um, I... I didn't stay at home much since I was 16, but I was straight up homeless uh, about the time I turned 17. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, God, it's a, it's a huge, so you've been homeless? Well, between June and August, so since 17, five years. Yeah. Well, what's your future like? Um, well, eventually, um, we're gonna um, get a house for the winter, probably somewhere in the south, and we're gonna like start saving up money, doing like odd jobs, whatever we can find for that amount of time. And then what I plan on doing is I want to start training to be a train conductor, or well, as a worker first, and then move up to a train conductor. Very Trains cool. fascinate me. Yeah, tra that'd be awesome. Yeah. Plus, I you guys obviously that. like to travel. Yep, obviously we obviously love to train hop and everything, so. So, so that's what, how you guys are getting around is train hopping? Mostly, um, Mostly. Like occasionally we um, hitchhike, usually when it's just the better option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, if you had three wishes, what would they be? things that can happen to you out here, especially when you hop the trains and stuff, a lot of bad things. Second of all, it would be, um, would be that we both get, get uh, fed, because it sucks to be hungry. I mean, some people in this country don't know that, and you assume, like, not eating for a couple of hours, and they're starving, but I've gone a couple of days, and it's, it's not fun, especially when traveling through, like, small towns in the desert. And uh, third would be, I don't know, uh, third would be that people will just remember to be, like, kind, not pissed, not be basically uh, pissed off at us just because we're different or, you know, funny looking, smell bad, whatever, we're just living our lives, we don't interrupt theirs, and I don't like when people interrupt mine. And, and you? Really nice people, and we just like to play music. And you, three wishes. Three wishes. Try not to pick the same ones. Uh, <laughs> I guess definitely the safety thing. I think that one has to be one of mine. I want us to be both safe, and healthy, and not get any of our like leg limbs cut off on it by a train wheel, any of that kind of stuff. Um, I want us to be successful, not necessarily in the monetary sense, but at least in gen life in general. Like, just be successful, like, do everything we want to do before we die. And, um, third, probably, I want to do something that makes a difference in the world. So I would guess I would, I don't know, wish that people's minds would be open, I guess, so that they could understand and actually learn something from us and maybe we could learn something from them because right. everyone's got something to tell and something to learn yeah exactly well thank you very much for talking to me no problem